the Bulls are Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 21 of Paper Mario. Last time, we completed Mount Lava Lava. We defeated the Lava Piranha with relative ease thanks to our Ice Power Badge. We saw Peach win a sneaky parasol, and we learned that the next Star Spirit is located in Flower Fields, which we can access through that door down there. We also defeated Junior Troopa in a mini boss fight, and we also basically defeated Kenzie Koopa, a big Koopa who basically was trying to block the way it wasn't bad, but we defeated him. And in this episode, we're going to continue our great journey forth. We are going to journey onward. We're going to head to the sewer, and we're going to do a lot of things in the sewer. We're going to be making our home in the sewer. We are going to become one with the dank because we got stuff to do. First off, we're going to head over to Koopa Village because Koopa Village is going to offer us, basically, some goodies. First off, let's go over here. Nothing over there. Colorado's over here. Let's see if he gives us any nice things. Come on, give us nice things. Well, I'm back in the village. It's rather nice, eh, old boy? Adventure is well and good, but one's home is really tough. Do stay here for a change. I've heard just about another strange thing about worrying and waiting for your return. <sighs> oh, yes, of course. Well, ahem. Blist, to tell you the truth, old bean, I'm itching to search for the lost palace in the north. Not tut. Mum's the word as far as the wife's concerned. Unless, of course, you can get that monster Twink to take her out. Twink would be the tops of destroying her. Okay. Anyways, let's head over to Coover because Coover will basically give us some nice things. It's been a while since I've been shopping at O-Town. I bet I could read all about your adventures in the newspaper there. Mr. Coover, better get here. I have a letter for you. Hang on a moment. Another layer duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks. Cool. It's from my pal. It must be the answer to my last letter. Thanks to the late delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It'll be great being up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, can you take it? It's the Mr. E who lives in the desert. He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the toad house. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. Well, we're going to be going there next because, well... Why not? And while we're there, we might as well restore our our spirit. Basically, restore the charm. I mean, why not? I mean, we'll be there already. Might as well take advantage of it. Oh, by the way, there is a star spirit that we can actually take advantage of. Okay, so let's head over here. Wrong pipe. Wrong pipe. Oh, Chuck Quizmo. Nice. Take advantage of this. Quiz. It's everyone's favorite quiz master. Chuck Quizmo. Want to try another quiz? And let's go to the question. Question, how many windows does the Goomba house? One? Yes, I have guessed correctly. We win, we win, Star Beast. You've got the answer to six questions of all. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, see you again. Yeah, if you ever want, anyways, if you want to grind for Chuck Quizmo Star Pieces, all you have to do is just constantly go back and forth between all the different towns in the warp pipes. That's all you have to do. Because basically, traveling via a warp pipe counts as traveling to a different town. So anyways, let's talk to our toad friend here. You are not a toad. 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 I, I could have sworn the, tur the toad house was over here. Here we are. I haven't seen rain in ages. I know it's a desert, but it should rain at least once in a while. We made a wish to the stars for a little moisture, but I guess it didn't help. Maybe your wish was too selfish. I love that the stars are like, we only grant selfish wishes. And then me will, you wish for rain? How dare you want rain to exist here? And then all of a sudden, just nothing. I love how these toads are dehydrating in the desert. And me and the star, star spirits are like, oh, screw the rain. We're not, oh yeah, you want rain too bad. If the weather continues, it'll get dry around here. You're Mr. You're Mr. E, correct? The Miss, the name, the name's Parker, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. I know how I do we deliver. Most of his job is never done. Gee, thanks. Oh, looks like an order from Kuma Village. My job is delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter to the next time you're in Toad Town? It's the Miss T. She lives there. She's one of these, these one of three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters about the dojo. Thanks a lot. Well, we'll deliver that soon. But for now, let's head over to this building. Because if we go on top, let's go on top. And Star Piece. And Controller dies. 
Uh, okay, thank you, controller. Thank you for just dying randomly. Love when that happens. Love when the controller just decides to die for the sake of dying. Okay, we're moving along pretty nicely. Let's head over here, talk to Merle. Yes, Merle, you constantly screw me over. Might as well renew it. I mean, we're right here, so might as well just get the coins now. Just get the get everything revived. Because frankly, I don't want this running out right in the middle of a chapter and then having to go all the way back here. You always want to have this spell active as much as you can, because basically it will just always benefit you. And I mean, it. I mean, sure, the spells may not be the most advantageous at all times, but hey, it's better to have them than nothing. I mean, it's not like they're going to actually harm you. So anyways, yeah, just this quest that never ends, just never ending letters. Now anyways, let's head over to the lower part of the sewers because we got some stuff we can do here. Namely, let's go down back here and we'll go to the Toe Town area. Plus we have that block we can get, so let's head here first. Deliver that letter to the Boo Shop because, I mean, that's right here. Okay, let's head back down to this area. It feels like so long since we've been here. Even though for me, it was relatively a so for me, funnily enough, the, the last time I was here was a week ago when I was recording the episodes. Though it'll be much longer for you guys. I mean, that's always weird to me, just how time can feel so off between me recording these episodes and when these episodes are actually uploaded. Okay, talk to you. Welcome to Boo Shop. How can I scare you today? Igor Boo Shop, correct? The next bar carry, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. No letter to you ever. A postman job. A, a postman job is never done. Uh, got the wrong voice. Oh, a letter. All right, an order list. Here, this order is from Gusty Gulch. That's right around the corner. Can't say. Can't they just come here? Oh well, my motto is from boo to you with a smile. Even though we can pretty much only smile. Take this for your troubles. Okay, what's our total now up to? Twenty-three. Only two more to go. Oh, we are so close. Am I? If I did some Koopa Koop favors, I could basically do it, but I don't want to do Koopa Koop favors. They, it just feels so tedious. Maybe towards the end of the game, I'll do some Koopa Koop favors. Maybe as a bonus episode, I'll do the Koopa Koop favors. As basically, I do the running Matlock joke. Oh, got a hair in my mouth. Uh, hey, when that happens, when I get random hair in my mouth. Uh. Okay. Let's head out the pipe. Love these pipes. These pipes are just, you love it. And while we're down here, let's take advantage of the moment. And head over to that block. Head over to the super block. Come on. Hmm. Actually. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go this block. Might as well. We'll have we'll play more blocks in the future. Okay. Who do we want to upgrade? Actually, no, no, no. I'm actually going to save this block for a little later. The reason for that is we're going to be coming back to the sewer anyways before we face the the boss of the next chapter. So basically, might as well just save that for later as well. Anyways, let's go sushi. Actually, no, no. Yeah, we're basically prepared for a boss. Like, blooper! The last blooper. And it's a big one. Get ready for the super blooper. The Super Blooper. Yes, I got the name correct. Anyways, press A right before landing. Let's just jump on this thing. This thing is gonna have plenty of health, and it's gonna be there, and it's not gonna be exactly nice. Thankfully, the thing has a relatively generous hitbox, so we're all good there. One, two, three, boom. Okay, it's not giving birth. No. Okay, normally this thing loves to give birth. And it gives birth a lot from my personal experience. Watch out it doesn't give birth once. Watch out we don't get to see the miracle of life. The blooper giving birth and then killing the blooper babies. One, two, three, boom. Okay. Okay, the blooper is giving birth. Yes, we get to see the baby bloopers. Okay, let's do this. Star Storm, might as well just knock them all out. Yeah, these bloopers, they can be a little irritating, but hey, we can kill them. Kill the babies! Skylar 
kills the babies. I wish for a world where the babies will not torment me. I will not deal with the loud diner screaming of the baby. And now it's getting really strong. No, no, no. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's jump on you. Take you out. Just constantly wham you down. Constantly jump. Constantly jump. Okay, let's jump. Take you down. Boosh. Okay. Boom. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Okay, let's do this again. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, come on, Merle. You couldn't give me some better. You could give me fifty star points for basically defeating this thing. And for this, we get rewarded with another pipe. And guess where this pipe will take us? Yoshi's Island! That's right. So basically, feel free to use the Toad House here. Because, I mean, it's free. It's, it's right on the island. It's right in our general range. So basically, it'll be fast to use it. And basically, fa good to take advantage of it. Okay. We'll go, oh, we'll go back into the pipe. Basically, explore the rest of the sewer. Or at least what we can explore now. And then, basically, we will head back. We'll head back to the village, and we can basically start on our... We'll basically go on and move on to Chapter 6, which is my personal favorite chapter in the game. Part of the reason for that being that Chapter 6, basically, for me, was a big point in my development in this game. Because, frankly... Ah, because when I was first playing this game for the very first time, basically, it was one of those things where... I never experienced this ch anything. I didn't experience past chapter five when I first played this game. In fact, I only experienced it on my second playthrough of the game when I just did a new game just for the sake of uh, for the sake of trying to basically get past that point with actual level ups. And sure enough, basically, just I when I got to chapter six, it was basically one of those points where it's like, okay, what's beyond this point? No, 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 mega shot. Okay, let's do this. Do this. Come on. Yes, nice. Everyone is paralyzed. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's take you down. Okay, we don't have much time, but we can definitely take these guys out. Okay, let's take you out. And yippee. And boom. Okay, Spike Top is down, and so are you. And watch how we get double star points here. Okay, well, at least the game didn't try to screw me over. But no, I can't see. Okay, yeah, we can't do anything there, as you can, as you can tell. And as you can see, there's a door there that we can't exactly access. So anyways, let's head down this pipe. And you'll notice this wall looks like an entrance because, well, it is an entrance. Now we get this guy. Oh, well, look here. Hello, hello, hello. Rip Gino at your service. You're quite enterprising young fellow fighting this place. What am I doing here? Just doing a little business and finding my own. I am not doing, I am not selling contraband beneath these sewers. You, my friend, have stumbled onto my great fortune. You have stumbled upon my Discord moderator lair. You want to hear my views on the lolly? Yeah, I'll buy something. Star piece. Buy my stuff. 64 coins. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we could buy some pretty useful items from him, but frankly, we could come back to him at any time. You know why? Old key, odd key. Use the odd key. And you can unlock this door. Now we can go to the end of the sewers whenever we desire. Anytime we want, boom, end of the sewer. So anyways, now that we have this, let's go out to, let's go deliver that letter to that, to basically that toad sister. But first, let's check the badge area. Nothing I want, which is unfortunate. 
So let's head back. Let's end here. Yes, I want to refresh, refresh my soul, refresh my mind, refresh my body. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna want to put some items into storage because the next chapter is gonna be pretty item intensive. Basically, it's going to be another one of those. Oh, hey, you got backtrack through the area continuously, but hey. But this time you have to carry around standard items. So yeah. Let's go over here and store some items. Thankfully, all these shops are interconnected. So, yeah, we will put the stuff. Okay, let's see. La yeah, the live music here, that moment. Stone gap. We'll also put in... We'll also put in the stopwatch. I'm probably not going to use this frequently, so might as well just keep those here. You though I'll probably never touch those items. If only we had a way to boost our item storage. Okay, let's go to the dojo. Oh, we also have that area over there, so... I think you're the one. You know, girl, something's been bothering me! Why was I born so beautiful? Oh, beauty's a sin! Nice ego, Christy! Really? Way to be in love with yourself! Sometimes you make absolutely no sense at all! That's why that red toad over there! That's why he calls us thoughts! Be gone, thoughts! Be gone from my dojo! I flap my arms in dominance! You know, people like me are beautiful because I'm always cheerful. Who cares how it looks? You're Miss C, correct? The name's Eric Harry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Who is this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh, well, I'm always getting one letters from strangers. I'm super popular. But not about me. I'm so lucky you just came now, Mr. Postman. Why don't you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to the shop or a dry dry outpost. I ordered lots of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It's nice to send you this beautiful. It takes work. Will you please deliver this? Thanks. The letters always come. The mail, it just keeps coming. This, you know, basically, this sequence always reminds me of the main antagonist of all of the other reindeer, basically. That, that, you know that B-grade Christmas movie where basically it's about a dog that thinks, basically, it's one of Santa's missing reindeer because of the song Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and basically all of the other reindeer used to laugh and play. Yeah, that reminds me of that, because the postman there, basically, he wanted to stop Christmas because the letters just kept coming. The mail just kept coming. He just went crazy. He just went mad because the mail, it, ne it never stops. It's like how, it's like Newman's synopsis on the mailman mindsets in Seinfeld. Newman, he basically says, the reason why postmen go crazy all the time is because, basically, they constantly are, de because the mail, it just never stops. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. Okay. And the more you deliver, the more it comes. Okay, anyways. Hmm. Goombario could be a good party member. He could. Cooper could also be pretty decent. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Hmm. In terms of enemies... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Cooper would probably be a pretty good one to upgrade right now. Let's upgrade Cooper using this pad. Okay, good, perfect. There we go. Let's get the sushi out. Hmm. And as for the bad situation, I am still thinking about just how to handle this. I really am thinking about it, I really am. Hmm. Basically, what I am thinking of is I may save it for the FP plus badge that we could get in the next chapter. Which would be really good, um, but then again, defense up would be also pretty nice. I mean, taking one less damage, that would be, you don't know how p nice that would be, just taking that one little less hit of damage. Make it where we're really able to tank everything, especially when we use it in conjunction with our star up, with, our, with our star power. Now then again, I may save it for a for the boss battle. I mean, if I have any three badge point or things, a three badge points, that would be nice. I mean, if I could only get, if I could only have it where just we have, if I could only get the second damage dodge badge that appears in this shop to appear. Why won't you appear? Anyways, talk to Minty. Bob, Bob's come from a flower field line called Flower Fields. They say flowers and bob are in trouble. To get to Flower Fields, you need four kinds of seeds that only Bob Bob's possess. But where are the bob -obs? Please, Mario, you must look for the bob and get the seeds from them. Maybe Merlin's fortune telling could help you look. Merlin's fortune telling to the rescue. For five simple coins, he can tell you how to handle the game. 
but we don't need to because we have all of them. Just keep, just give all the seeds. Just give each and every seed that you got, that you have received over the course of the game. And you will be heading off to flower fields in no time. Magical seed. I could have been giving these throughout the game, but frankly, what's the point when you can basically save them all for now? And the final seed. Yeah, really. Just bring Woody back from Mario Party 3. Woody is the pivotal character of the Mario Party franchise. Without Woody, there would be no Mario Party. You're trying your best to save the Star Spirits and the rest of the world, aren't you? You're a noble. If that's true, then your rival means the Star Spirits here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Bob Fields is in trouble. There's a little monster known as Twink who's constantly burning down the fields. A creature named Huffin' Puff and his followers invade our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny skies. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother the rising sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huffin' Puff is holding someone captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh, so you're going to defeat the wicked Huffin' Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huffin' Puff is up in the sky, what we call Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows higher. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Uh, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she, perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Okay. Yes, we can talk to the people all around. Yeah, let's talk to this guy who looks like he spends all his free time trolling people on Reddit and basically just spamming on his per his friend's Discord room. Hey guys, where are you going? Oh, Petunia? Yeah, Petunia's straight up west from me. Yep, west, hit me hit. Sorry guys, I can't tell you more, even if you ask. Hey, stupid star, let me know something. This guy always lies. You use the double five if you hit the trees in a row from this order. Left, right, then middle. Yep, middle, right, left. Yeah, two I swear. Middle, right, left. Remember that. Now let's head to east. Now this place is very is semi maze like. A lot of the things you can't do instantly are off the bat. Okay, could have sworn we could defeat that flower. Well, we can do at least something here. Okay. Anyways, these are daisies. They can put you to sleep. Hi, I'm Daisy. Yes, Daisy's people. Daisy just could rule this place with an iron fist. And daisies love to run, so basically, yeah, they can make things very easy for you. However, there is one daisy that basically you should not underestimate. Okay, yes, got the first strike. These guys, these are be these bees. They are very low health, but they have very high attack. So basically, take them out whenever you can. They will go down pretty easily, especially if you're going for an attack sort of build like I am. And thankfully, enemies in flower fields are actually very mild compared to the ones that we fought in Lava Lava Mount in Mount Lava Lava. Because they really don't pack a lot of defense. They tend to be more status ailments and also just mess around. Okay, middle, right, and left. Flower match. If you hit these trees in the wrong order, you will basically you will not be happy because basically one of the bee enemies will come for you. Okay, anyways, will we get the enemies? Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, sometimes in a 
when you run into, an ama into a daisy, you will get an enemy known as an Amazing Daisy. Amazing Daisies are gold versions of daisies. And basically, they will give, and they will give a bowl of experience, but basically they do a ton of damage. Ah, that's what I meant by they put you to sleep. Okay, let's defeat you. If, it, if a daisy is alone, it will run away. Though, basically, an amazing daisy will pretty much always run away. And, but, frankly, you kind of want an amazing daisy to run away. Because, frankly, an amazing daisy will do a boatload of damage to you. And I mean a boatload. Anyways, be cautious with daisies because they can combo you. They can combo you if you are not careful. So, yeah, be careful around these guys. They can be a little crazy. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's head back here. First off, get a red berry. Yeah, this is great music, I have to say. Okay, first off. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I began to droop. I know, and you all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now this Monty will stick into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. Be careful. My beautiful secret watcher will be home. Monty will bang with his keys up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of these Monty moles for me? In case you're wondering, the Monty moles I'm talking about are... This guy. And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature, this guy is, well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. That, uh, that daisy is there only for that joke. He won't even try to attack you. Please don't fail me. My sheets are coming when you save us. Yeah, I love how dramatic they make the music. Okay, let's destroy this Monty Mole, basically. These are more powerful versions of the Monty Moles that we fought on Mount Rugged. So essentially, yeah. We now have a more powerful power shell, so... Yeah, these guys have some defense on them. Thankfully, we can just endure. Ah, ah that hurt a lot. Okay, let's jump on you. Take you out. One, two, three, boom. Okay, nice. Okay, good thing I kept this badge on. Okay, 48. Now, one reason... W now, anyways. Good thing we're down to 5 HP. You know why? Because these Monty Moles have a weird thing with them. Power... Let me show on the power equation show ya. Hey, come on. Hit this guy. As you saw, he did, our dammer did more damage. Now, let me show you what happens when we use our power quake. Eight damage. So yeah, let's power shell. These guys are very weak to hammer, so basically take advantage of it. Nice, thank you, finally. You kick in with the double star points. Thank you, Merle. Thank you. Okay, come on, let's go here, see this engine in here. Come on, no, why hit you? You know what, screw it, I'm gonna take you out. Okay, let's do it, just power hammer, one, two, three, boom. Very nice, he is dead. He is gone, and we don't have to worry about him. 72, so, okay, 74 experience, nice. So you get 26 more. Okay, come on. There we go. And power quake. One, two, three, 
Four. Power shell. Take you out. Okay, nice. Just 20 more to go and we'll get another level up. Surprisingly short chapter, so basically, yeah. Don't worry, it's all good. Okay. We could always go there. Let's talk to you again, the, the almighty Discord mod. Hey, you! Everyone's a good hero. Oh, you want to know the inside scoop on something good? If you want to well, your place is after that three, you, throw some, you can throw something in to get a cool reward. Whatever you do, don't throw in a blueberry. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Do you believe me? Huh? Do you believe me? Do you? I have got to tell you. Oops, sorry. Everything else is a secret. Sorry, guy. The only thing that poses is guy is soil. Guy, just soil, yep. He definitely doesn't have anything beautiful. No way. <laughs> sorry, guy, I can't do it anymore. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to head back in here. Yes. Actually, no. I'm going to head back to Toe Town off camera, and then I'll come back here. But anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you came back. Hey. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do everything you want. With that, see you next time. Bye.